Blog Talk Radio. Live. Worldwide. Delivering. With your host, Jay Bartlett. For the next few minutes, Jay will be exploring the unknown, the strange, and the supernatural. Ready or not, you are about to experience Deliverance. It was in Newark, New Jersey. Newark, New Jersey. We ministered to a Mennonite woman who had traveled in for some for some ministry. She was being terribly vexed by evil spirits. This precious Mennonite woman was brought to the front of the meeting hall and she confessed to having been involved in raw Satanism, including the participation in hideous blood rituals, including the consumption of sacrificial blood. She spoke of having to endure very dark Satanic ceremonies. That included sadistic acts that allowed demons the means to enter this young lady. I led her in a prayer to renounce the witchcraft, the black magic, and the Satanism. And while she prayed, demons came out, and she received significant spiritual liberation. I truly commend this young lady for being brave enough to break the satanic silence. But that was just the beginning. That was just the beginning of an explosive night of ministry that would take us into the well past the midnight hour. It seemed there in New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey, it was an extraordinary series of meetings, including there was an episode where I was involved in a deliverance battling for vicious, vicious, d- disgusting, vile spirits that violently assaulted me, causing me to shed blood while I battled the spirits for many, many hours. I battled hundreds of thousands of evil spirits. In fact, I lost track of the many hundreds of thousands of legions I warred against. They are in Newark, New Jersey. They were furious with me. They were in a rage. And all night long, they screamed. I'm here to tell you, the screams were nonstop. It reminds me of what happened 2,000 years ago with the Evangelist Philip, what happened during his ministry, confronting evil spirits, and it's recorded in the book of Acts, chapter 8, that Philip went down to the city of Samaria. Now, this is found in Acts, chapter 8, verse 5, and preached Jesus Christ to them. And the multitudes, with one accord, heeded the things spoken by Philip hearing and seeing the miracles which he did, verse 7, for unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many who were possessed, and and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed, and there was great joy in that city. For unclean spirits, crying out with a loud voice, That's exactly what we experienced there in Newark, New Jersey. I'm here in San Francisco, California today. And just during our ministry sessions here in San Francisco, the demons groaned, they screamed, they came out. 
you know, what, what's the deal about the screaming? Why do demons scream? I think there's many reasons why. I could tell you this. When you confront them with a superior power, that is the power of Jesus Christ, they respond in agony. They groan and they moan. They're utterly defeated with the, by the superior powers of Jesus Christ, and they scream. Quite common, they're tormented beings. And that torment is being manifested through the loud screams. While there in Newark, New Jersey, the screams were non stop. And when I hear the screams, I know deep in my heart there's victory. Because the the screams is just a sign, another sign of their defeat. And that's exactly what I want to talk about on today's edition of Deliverance. I'm Jay Bartlett. I'll be here for the next few minutes exploring the unknown, the strange, and the supernatural. Ready or not, you're about to experience deliverance. bestowed upon this global mission an extraordinary ability to gently guide individuals into the heavenly realms where thousands are encountering the risen Jesus and experiencing numerous heavenly wonders. We have, perhaps, created the world's largest video collection of testimonies of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the joys, the wonders, and the glories of God's heavens. These thrilling videos from around the world demonstrate that God loves and cares for us. Taste of His powers at jbartlettmissions.com Heavenly experiences are for real. Watch and see at jbartlettmissions.com I'm Jay Bartlett. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your uh, schedule to be with us. So I was in Newark, New Jersey, and the demons were screaming. We don't, with hundreds of thousands of legions, they threatened to kill me. I remember the night very well. They threatened to kill me. They threatened to attack me. And many times motioned to me in an attempt to send demons my way to afflict me. Their powers, though, were countered with the power of the fire of the Holy Spirit, the holy angels, the sword of the Spirit, the atoning blood of Jesus, and holy communion. Those are, those are the weapons we utilize here in San Francisco during our meeting here. And be, be praying for California. California is in spiritual trouble. You know, just being here in San Francisco – my heart just goes out to the people of California. As you know, the Jesus Church, which I pastor, one of the Jesus Churches I pastor, is located here in California, actually in Southern California. And I would encourage you, by the way, get to our Jesus Church service Sunday night in Orange County. We're no longer meeting in Pasadena because of the oppressive COVID restrictions coming out of L.A. County, but we have moved to Orange County, and I want to encourage you, if you get a chance, come to one of our services, Jesus Church services. We, we Each and every service, demons are cast out, and people are miraculously healed. But be praying for California. I, many of you may not be aware of this, but outside of Texas, there are more Christians in California, any other state, 
in America. So, and great, some incredible revivals. Think about it, historically speaking, throughout church history, in modern day history, that is, some incredible revivals have taken place and have been birthed here from here in, in California. And uh, and my heart's always been to minister to those areas which the church may ignore or are many ministries may ignore. And, and the San Francisco Bay Area is one of those areas. And I travel up here pretty consistently on a regular basis up here throughout the year. And, and I'm so thankful we were able to get here uh, this weekend. Or uh, this week, because we've already seen some incredible miracles of healing, of deliverance, of the supernatural acts of the Holy Spirit. But as many of you know, there's incredible fires taking place north from here. Well, throughout California, there's incredible things happening when it comes to these fires, and, and the state's being terribly affected. Pray for the people. Pray for us as we continue to reach out with the with the message of deliverance. But those, those nights in Newark, New Jersey, were extraordinary. The supernatural power of God was off the charts, as it was here in San Francisco, as it has been, I should say. And I, mean, you know, I mentioned that we counted the powers of darkness with the power of the fire of the Holy Spirit, the holy angels, the sword of the Spirit, the atoning blood of Jesus, and the holy communion. We did that, and it works, my friends. Demons came out. And back in Newark, New Jersey... The supernatural power of God was off the charts. I called forth the holy angels, and they greatly assisted me in battling the demonic. Dozens of times, they they restrained the demons. They greatly assisted me in striking the demons, thereby weakening them greatly. My sacred cross, and I love the cross. I have some crosses. By the way, I have some crosses with me here today. As I'm sitting here behind the microphone, I have some beautiful wooden crosses, and they're available uh, through our mission if you're interested in obtaining a cross. And perhaps you don't even have a cross. I mean, many many of you listening to this podcast, I'm curious how many of you actually have a cross. Now, these wood handcrafted prayed over wooden crosses are available for only a $50 suggested donation. And a portion of each donation will go to our God Loves You special worldwide missions. So this is a special offer. I would; These are beautifully handcrafted, prayed over wooden crosses that are available for $50. I would encourage you to, to get to our website, jbartlandmissions.com, and, and email us. Email me at j at jbartlandmissions.com. That's j-a-y at jbartlandmissions.com. Dot com and get a cross. I mean, these are beautiful crosses, and I have some here right next to me. Well, back in Newark, New Jersey, we used the cross. The demons groaned and moaned. You want to talk about some loud screams? The cross was mightily used of the Lord to weaken hundreds of thousands of evil spirits and drove them out. Many of them were just fleeing at the sight of the cross. Just even looking at it, the demons were coming out. That's why I encourage you, get a, do you have a cross? I would encourage you to get a cross, and we have them available. These are beautiful crosses. I'll bring some at the Jesus Church in, in uh, Orange County Sunday. But get a cross. And all these demons were cast into the abyss. It was an extraordinary in so many levels, but the fact is the screams were nonstop. <laughs> During the ministry sessions, the demons were confronted produce some truly intense blood curdling screams. I mean, it was incredible how loud. Now I've I've been all over the world, nearly seventy five nations of the world on six continents. I've dealt with a lot of demons. I've held a lot of exorcisms and and deliverance services and seminars and meetings and, and missions. And I've encountered some loud demons, but I remember this night well. The screams were off the chart. There were nonstop blood curling screams. It was rather very loud. And this public meeting that we were holding in Newark, New Jersey, was being conducted in a very rather large uh, 
Hilton Hotel, and the and yet the screams could be just heard right down the corridors. And a number of times, hotel guests inquired if everything was okay, as it sounded like a war. <laughs> I mean, it like it sounded like people were being killed, the screaming. But it was it was demonic warfare. It was war, a spiritual war with very powerful demonic spirits that that fought me fiercely. I mean, it's just astounding. My vocals were even <laughs> my vocals held up during this time because I remember at the time I I was having some difficulty, but God gave me supernatural strength, and we we encountered some powerful witchcraft demons that were surfacing, spirits of death, destruction, Jezebel, Baal. Black magic, blindness, hate, poverty, lack, leviathan, dragon, antichrist, blasphemy, and a host of animalistic demons, including a crocodile spirit. There are many infirmities and afflictions such as cancer, dizziness, old age, leukemia, also driven out in the name of Jesus. Furthermore, many ancestral dissociative parts were located and sent to Jesus for healing. And I dealt with a number of soul invaders. They were hell-bent on destroying their victims through satanic curses. And many of the demons boast of how they have been in these individuals there in Newark, New Jersey for many, many thousands of years and how nobody ever confronted them through the generations. As I often say, it's a spiritual crime. The Church of Jesus Christ should rise up and lead in curse-breaking And the casting out demons, which, by the way, I'm going to lead you and I into some curse-breaking prayers. Some simplistic ones, nevertheless, extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. Remember what the Lord Jesus says and promises in John chapter 14, that if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. So we're going to use and employ the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That is the name. We're going to break these curses. And we're going to cast out demons. But it should be noted, though, this is largely not happening in most churches, though. What I'm about to do here in a podcast is not happening in churches around the globe. Thus, demons are working largely unhindered. Think about it. People have to ask me, Pastor Jay, why is it the demonic invasion, the, the influences, the, the warfare so intense at times? Because they've never been confronted. And we're, we're encountering large numbers of demons, mass numbers of demons in people's lives, larger because of what because no deliverance took place, no curse breaking took place, and we're talking about many, many generations in bloodlines where nobody came along and led any kind of curse breaking or deliverance. Thus, the demons have worked unhindered, unhindered. That needs to stop. That needs to stop. But I remember that meeting in Newark, New Jersey. I was encouraged by the number of pastors, evangelists, prophets that were present in that meeting that testified of learning so much from those public demonstrations. In fact, one church planter who was present in the meeting testified of his desire to take this kind of ministry to every church that he plants from here on out. And this is just wonderful news to my ears. This work is being carried out, and that's why I do these podcasts. That's why I write books. And by the way, I to one of uh, get to uh, one of our meetings because sometimes we make our books available. But get to our website, jbartlettmissions dot com, and and you'll see many of my books being refreshed, republished, and uh, you'll find them to be fascinating, inspiring. Edifying, thrilling, extraordinary. These books are truly extraordinary. People have been delivered just reading our books. People have been healed. 
liberally restored. And I believe you'll be inspired. That's jbartlettmissions.com. But that church planner who was present in those meetings in Newark, New Jersey, saw what took place. Saw these hundreds of thousands of demons being expelled and and sent and commanded into the abyss and seeing Jesus Christ being glorified, honored, and praised. And he wanted to take this kind of ministry to every church that he plants. And it just brings joy to my heart. It should bring joy to your heart, knowing that God is on the move. Yeah, we live in dark. I get the fact that we live in dark, dark days. And I'm reminded how dark it is as we as I'm looking out the window here in San Francisco, California. Which, by the way, is a great city architecturally. Great weather up here generally. It's, it's beautiful weather and a lot of great things about San Francisco. But in recent generations, it's just been heavily oppressed. And the city needs the gospel. I'm here to bring the gospel. And it brought me joy by being here in San Francisco and seeing souls being reached with the power of Jesus Christ. And what I witnessed here in San Francisco reminded me of Acts chapter 8 when the multitudes, now we didn't have a multitude, but the group that, that assembled here in San Francisco, San Francisco, with one accord, they heeded the things spoken. They were hearing and seeing the miracles, which I did, which, which, what happened to the evangelist Philip in Acts chapter 8, verse 6. For unclean spirits crying with a loud voice, there was commotion here in this, in this uh, ministry session here in San Francisco. But they came out of those who were possessed. And there was great joy in that city. And there's great joy. There's great joy in my heart seeing the miracle working power of Jesus Christ move forward. Now, here in a minute, I'm going to leave this in some curse breaking prayers. I hope you're ready. Get your spiritual seat belts on as we confront the powers of evil spirits. Now, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if some of those demons scream out of you. As I was telling you, and, and and as I was sharing with you what happened in Newark and what happens throughout cities throughout, I'm just using Newark as an example, but what happens throughout the cities of the world when we cast and confront, when we cast out demons, confront the demons, the screams are often nonstop. Don't be surprised. Don't be alarmed. They need to come out. They're tormented beings. They're evil. They're dark. They're perverse. Jesus wants them out. It's God's will for you to be set free. God has bestowed upon this global mission an extraordinary ability to gently guide individuals into the heavenly realms where thousands are encountering the risen Jesus and experiencing numerous heavenly wonders. We have, perhaps, created the world's largest video collection of testimonies of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the joys, the wonders, and the glories of God's heavens. These thrilling videos from around the world demonstrate that God loves and cares for us. Taste of His powers at jbartlettmissions.com Heavenly experiences are for real. Watch and see at jbartlettmissions.com Jerry Bartlett, thank you for taking a few moments out of your schedule to be with us. Are you needing spiritual intervention and immediate assistance in removing demons and healing for your broken heart? We're available to travel to your location and meet you 
at a neutral location to pray and, and to minister to you and your family. We have upcoming personal ministry sessions in various cities throughout the world. We will travel domestically, internationally. Now, there are limited sessions available, so please contact us today to schedule 877 877- Four eight three five five one nine, or simply email me at j at jbartlandmissions dot com. That's j a y at jbartlandmissions dot com. Schedule a personal, confidential, and loving ministry session with us today at eight seven seven four eight three five five one nine, or email us at j jbartlandmissions.com Now, I was shocked to see so many Hindu spirits also surfacing during our meeting in Newark, New Jersey. Very strong spirits. And I led my precious friends of Hindu backgrounds to break the oaths, the rituals, the sacrifices, the offerings, and the ancestral Hindu curses of black magic. Many Hindu spirits were shaking their victims violently. Some of the shaking and the twisting of body limbs were quite strange and eerie. They were grotesquely contorting their victims. The demons were screaming, attempting to cause great pain. You want to talk about some loud cries? It was nonstop. In each case, Jesus, though, provided victory. And these many Hindu spirits were expelled and sent to the abyss as they cried out wildly out of the bodies. Also, during our ministry sessions, many mass numbers of broken heart parts were released and sent to Jesus for healing. And God was truly working powerfully in our midst. And, and, And right now, as you're listening to this podcast, God can work in your life. I'm going to help you. If you have a copy of scriptures of the Bible with you, a New Testament, the Bible, put it on your heart. I'm doing the same thing, and I have the Bible on my heart. I'm going to pray for you. In the authority and the power of Jesus Christ, I come against the ancestral spirits that are within you. You are bound in the authority of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you, my friends, those of you listening, to cry out. I want you to say, Lord Jesus Christ, I surrender my life to you. Forgive me. Cleanse me from my sins. I repent and believe in you, Jesus Christ. I believe in your death, your burial, your resurrection for the dead. I believe you ascended to the Father's right hand, and you're coming back soon. And I invite you to take over my life, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God in the flesh, the one and true living God. Jesus is Lord. And I break every ancestral oath, ritual, sacrifice, Offering and curse of idolatry and witchcraft in Jesus' name. By the authority of the blood of Jesus Christ, I break every idolatrous oath. And this goes along with not only witchcraft, but idolatrous oath, ritual, sacrifice, offering, and curse in Jesus' name. And I command those evil spirits to come out of you. Quickly leave. Ancestral, idolatrous, witchcraft spirits come out. I break the oath. I break the ritual. I break the sacrifice. I break the offering. I break the curse in the name of Jesus Christ and by the authority of his, of his blood, by the power of his blood, and the power of his resurrection. Come out. Now. Now, if you feel like it's moving up from your heart, take that Bible that you have in your hands and bring that Bible. Make sure it's touching your body. Bring it all the way up to where your throat is and out. 
come out spirits, come out of the mouth, in the authority of Jesus Christ. Now, if they're screaming, so be it. Come out. Leave in Jesus' name. Leave in the authority of Jesus Christ. Many of you are getting delivered. Many of you are getting set free. And I ask for the Holy Spirit, the power of the Comforter, to rest upon each and every one of you. Right now, God, fill them. Fill them with your peace, your love, your joy, your strength. And I dedicate them to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This Amen. Has been a production of the Good News Podcasting Network, based in sunny Southern California. Feel free to contact for more information on the Deliverance Podcast at jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877-483-5519.